In this video I'm going to talk to you about factorising quadratic expressions. Now a quadratic expression as we can see here is an expression that has an x squared term as the largest power of x. We're going to start off by just looking at expressions with one x squared and then an x term and then a number. Later on we'll look at when we have a number in front of the x squared as well. Now when you factorise a quadratic expression you're going to put it into two brackets. So we're going to factorise this expression x squared plus 5x plus 6. We can start by drawing two brackets like this. Now factorising is the opposite of expanding or multiplying out brackets. So you might have learnt how to multiply out two brackets maybe using the FOIL method Factorising a quadratic is the opposite of that. Now we start off by looking at our x squared. Now x squared is made up of x times x. So we put an x at the beginning of each bracket. Then we look at our signs. Now if they're all, both positive, then both of the signs in the answer will also be positive. So we can put those in now. Now to work out what goes at the end of each bracket, we have to look at the number at the end of our expression and we have to find all of the pairs of factors of that number so in this case it's 6 and 6 has 1 and 6 as a pair of factors and 2 and 3 as a pair of factors now we've got to choose one of these pairs of factors which will add together to give us 5 because when we multiply this out whatever we have at the end of the brackets will multiply by the x's to get 5. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So which one of these two is going to add together to make 5? Well the, obviously the answer is going to be 2 and 3. So our numbers in our brackets are going to be 2 and 3. Okay, So we've got x plus 2 and x plus 3. Now we can check that that's right by multiplying it out. So we had x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 if we multiply it out we should end up with back at what we started with so remembering FOIL that's first x times x is x squared outside x times 3 is 3x inside 2 times x is 2x and last 2 times 3 is 6 and if we simplify that we get x squared 3x plus 2x is 5x and then plus 6 which is what we started with so we factorised that correctly. Here are two more examples. Now this one first we're going to factorise x squared minus 8x minus 9. So again we're going to have two brackets and we've got one x squared here so we're going to have an x at the front of each bracket now we need to look at the signs now the previous example we had both positive this time we've got both negative now you decide which signs we're going to have in the brackets by looking at the second sign so this one is what we're interested in now if that one is negative that means we ha must have one positive and one negative in the brackets because the number at the end here is found by multiplying the two numbers in the brackets and the only way to get a negative answer when you're multiplying two numbers is if one is positive and one is negative so our signs are there we now got to look at the factors of 9 now factors of 9 are 1 and 9 the other one is 3 and 3 Okay, so 1 and 9 and 3 and 3. Now we need to choose one of these two which is going to have a difference of 8. And it's a difference of 8 because we're going to have one positive and one negative number. So our difference is going to be found by using 1 and 9. So now we just need to decide which bracket has the 1 and which bracket has the 9. And we do that by looking at our 8 and because it's a negative 8 we need to have the larger number being negative to give a ne negative there. So the larger number's got to be negative, so that's the 9, and so it must be a positive 1 in there. So we finished our factorising. 
we can check it works by multiplying out so if we multiply out here we've got x times x is x squared we've got x times minus 9 is minus 9x 1 times x is x and 1 times minus 9 is minus 9 simplify that and we get x squared minus 8x minus 9 so we got the factorization correct okay on to this other example so similar again doesn't matter that the letter is changed we can still work with it exactly the same way so we've got 1t squared so that means we're going to have a t at the beginning of each bracket now we need to look at the signs here's a different example again we've got the first sign being negative and the second sign being positive now because this is positive that means that both the signs have got to be the same because when you multiply two numbers together you get a positive answer if both of them are positive or both of them are negative now they've both got to be negative here because we've got to end up with a negative number in the middle so we're going to have two negatives one there and one there now we're looking to find our factors of 36 so pairs of factors of 36 1 and 36 2 and 18 3 and 12 4 and 9 and then 6 multiplied by 6 so those are our pairs of factors of 36 we need to choose one of these pairs that is going to add to make 13 because we're going to have a negative something and a negative something so we're going to have to add them together so which one of these pairs will that be well 4 plus 9 is 13 so I think 4 and 9 will fit so we put 4 in there and 9 in there it doesn't matter which way round because both signs are negative so to check whether we've got this right we'll multiply it out t times t is t squared t times minus 9 is minus 9t minus 4 times t is minus 4t and minus 4 times minus 9 is positive 36 simplify again t squared minus 9 minus another 4 is minus 13t and then plus 36 this final example is a bit more difficult because you'll notice that instead of just having one lot of x squared we've now got five lots of x squared so that means that when we're trying to find the numbers to go into the bracket we have to consider how the five and the factors of six can be multiplied together so this is how we do it we start off again with our two brackets now the first thing we have to do is look for factors of the 5, the number in front of the x squared. Now 5 is a prime number which means the only factors are 5 and 1. So that means we've got to have 5x in one bracket and 1x in another bracket. Okay now we look at our signs. This time we've got one positive and one negative. Now because we've got a negative as our second sign that means we must have one positive number and one negative number but we don't know which way round they've got to be yet because we don't know what we're multiplying so we're going to have to leave our signs till later so we're going to look now at factors of 6 now we saw earlier that our factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and 2 and 3 and we've got to think how these combine with the factors of 5 which are 1 and 5 will go together to give us 13x. So this can be difficult to spot sometimes. Sometimes you'll need to try various combinations of numbers multiplied together. So let's try that. So let's start off with 1 and 6 and 1 and 5. So if we did 1 times 1, which is 1, and 6 times 5, which is 30, that's not going to give us 13 so we can try the other way round we can try 1 times 6 which is 6 
and 1 times 5 which is 5. That's not going to give us 13 either. So we try some more combinations. So now we're going to use the 2 and the 3 and the 1 and the 5. So we can have 1 times 2 which is 2 and then 5 times 3 which is 15. Now this one is going to give us 13 if we subtract 2 from 15. Let's try the other combination just to check. So this time we've got 5 times 2 which is 10 and 1 times 3 which is 3. Now this would also give us 13 but only if we add them together and that means they'd have to both be positive and we know they can't both be positive because we've got to end up with a negative number here. So we're going to have to go with this pair 1 times 2 and 5 times 3. So we've got our 5 in our bracket already which means that opposite it in the other bracket must be 3 and so the 2 will go in here. Now we've said that we want to try and make positive 13 which means we need to have the larger number being positive so we're going to have to have plus 3 so that we end up with plus 15 we multiplied out and so this one must be negative 2 in the other bracket. Now we can check we're right by multiplying out our brackets so 5x times x is 5x squared 5x times 3 is plus 15x negative 2 times x is negative 2x and negative 2 times positive 3 is negative 6. Simplify that and we get 5x squared positive 15 take away 2 gives us positive 13x and then negative 6 which is what we started with so we've correctly factorised our expression.